The jungle. There are no two jungles alike. This jungle differs from wildlife than any other jungle. In this jungle, there are some of the most dangerous animals, insects, and birds. Ranging from mountain lions, bobcats, to copperhead snakes. If you're lucky, you might see some timber rattlers, which are very rare to stumble upon. But beware. There are brown recluse spiders to look out for. Especially in your boots. There are many flying birds like vultures, eagles, owls, bats, but they are your friends compared to everything else trying to eat you alive in this jungle. Which by the way is an Illinois jungle. Stick along and maybe you'll learn something if you're ever out in the jungle. This is Private Dale. He landed about 20 clicks back at the LZ. He was on a routine mission with his team when he got split up, or should I say when he decided to go his own way. This is nothing new with Dale. He has always been kind of a knucklehead, but boy oh boy, is he smarter than a cookie. Just about two and a half years ago, he was within the top two of his class, with already receiving a Purple Heart. Yeah, Dale has taken multiple survival classes, ranking number one in Jungle School. So Dale, everyone is cheering you on except the jungle. I hope you can do it, buddy. Show us what you got. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like an abandoned foxhole made by the NIA. North Illinois Army. Sorry, NIA, but I'm SIA, Southern Illinois Army. It doesn't look like anyone's been here for months anyways. I know we overran this area months ago, so yeah. Ha ha ha. Looks like I got a campsite tonight, boys. Let's get to cleaning. This is a special forces shovel. Excellent at chopping, batoning, and its main purpose, digging. Looks like the NIA left the shovel in a hurry. Got that right. Well, I can put this to use, that's for sure. That right there is an Illinois earthworm.
Ah, what shall I do next? Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, I remember. Remember my buddy Rodney said when he's over in the jungles of the Panama. He made an, a jungle oven. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make a jungle oven. I think a jungle oven is gonna be awesome in this. It'll be great because the smoke from the oven itself will be under the foliage of these trees I'm under. So yeah. Yeah, I think so. Jolly, that was some work. Woo! Dale, he needs a break. And being number one in jungle school, he knows when to. You see, in these environments, a hot weather first aid kit is essential. Now remember, not two jungles are alike. However, you should always carry antifungal cream or spray. In this case, we're using spray. A must in this environment to protect you from jungle rot. Always carry antifungal in your first day jungle kit. Well, time to get this jungle oven going. What Dale is doing is he is separating pencil sized twigs from branches for the jungle oven. He is a master at firecraft and he knows it. You can learn a lot from Dale. Oh man, the possibilities are endless with this. Oh man, Rodney was right. This is excellent for stealth cooking. This is the end of part one. Dale, in the meantime, is keeping a lookout until we return. So guys, make sure you study and see you in part two.
the end.